this is a great topic. Uh, we moved on from linear functions into real functions. Now, real functions, real functions, is just a, it's just the syllabus's way of saying, look, there are all these other kinds of things that we can graph that are straight lines. Okay, so that's that's all that means. Um, and it's to distinguish from in the in the future, um, you'll get onto functions that don't involve real numbers. What we've got here is the Cartesian plane. Okay. Now, just draw for me quickly a really, really small Cartesian plane. Okay. This idea of real functions is that you've got an x and you've got a y, and these are both real numbers, right? And we can come up with relationships between these real numbers that draw out patterns for us. And that's what we call graphs. Okay. Now this is the Cartesian plane, right? The Cartesian plane, which is named after um, René Descartes, Descartes, who is most famous for saying, um, I think, therefore I am. It's French. It's just, <laughs> you can't, you cannot, it's so hard because you guys have known about the Cartesian plane for so long. It, it is impossible for me to overstate what a revolution it was to have the Cartesian plane, right? To have it as a relationship between x's and y's, two sets of real numbers, because the Cartesian plane brought together in one fell swoop. And that's why it's a big deal, why it's got a name, why it's got his name on it. It brought together two parts of maths, two like gargantuan areas of maths that for centuries had nothing to do with each other. And you guys just kind of, because you've been working with this, you just kind of feel, oh, it's a given, right? And the two branches are geometry. Geometry is one of the oldest branches of maths there is. Um, way, way back, like the ancient Greeks and Babylonians, all those guys, they knew about geometry because they wanted to build stuff. So you build stuff or you look at the stars and geometry, ta-da, right? Geometry, which is about shapes and lines and, and, and figures and all that kind of thing, and algebra were two completely separate ideas. Completely separate. And, you know, there were, there were guys and they were called geometers, right? Because that's what they, they had like a, a ruler and compass and, and, and that's how they worked in maths, right? And then there were these people who work with like strange pronumerals and numbers and, and it, was, it was a completely different thing, right? But these two... Uh, I guess I guess the most modern parallel I could give it to you was um, you know how in physics for those of you who study physics know that there's like Einstein's theory of relativity and then there's quantum mechanics and then they're just like we know that they're both kind of true but we just can't we can't put them together and people have been trying right um, I mean they've got ideas of how it might fit but no one's got a oh this is it right the Cartesian plane that was it for these two ideas right in one fell swoop could say, look, there's something called a circle, right? And we have a ge geometric definition for that. And then to say, hey, you know what? There's, a, there's an algebraic definition for it too, right? And this is kind of like almost second nature to us now. Is oh yeah, the unit circle. Of course the unit circle. This is like, for all the mathematicians who were, when this was first introduced, right? So please understand that what you are doing when we're just looking at this and there's like definitions and like, it's very, it's very technical. Um, you are bringing together something that eluded mathematicians and, and lesser human beings for centuries, okay? Uh, amazing idea. So, on this idea of functions and relations, right? Um, when, when you see this, the key thing here is that there's a relationship between x and y, okay? So, an equation, an equation is a relationship. And in this case, x and y are two real numbers, which is why we call these real functions. Um, as I was saying before, but you might not have caught it because it's right at the beginning, uh, this is not the only way to have different kind of numbers compared. Um, the most notable sort of distinction between this, and you can draw this right on, right on the side, even smaller if you like, is um, something which looks just like the Cartesian plane, but has nothing to do with it. When, when those of you who get to extension two, which will be most of you do, 
uh, we will talk about real numbers and imaginary numbers and their relationship, which is the complex plane, right? Which which kind of follows many of the same rules as, as this. It's, it's two-dimensional, it's the most important thing. Uh, but the important thing is that these sets of numbers and how they relate are not real numbers, right? They're, well, they're different kinds of numbers, and we'll get to that in time, right? Now, you guys know mathematicians are always inventing um, language and symbols to try and make things shorter. So rather than saying an equation's a relationship, they make it all that much shorter by saying, you know, this is equal to, we call this a relation, right? So it's gone the other way from modern language, which is like, yeah, I, I ship that, okay? Mathematicians went the other way, and they said, look, this relationship between x and y, this pairing of these two kinds of numbers, we'll call that a relation. Right? So anytime you see x's and y's together in an equation, um, you get a relation between them. Right? That's that's all it is. Okay. Um, another way of saying this, uh, another important phrase that you'll hear, is that this is setting up ordered pairs. Right. Uh, this is a really important phrase. It's not that important for you, like in terms of you won't say it very much. But this idea that Numbers are paired up, and they're paired up in some kind of order. Like x is 1 goes to this one, and 2 goes to this one, and 3 goes to this one, and so on. Okay? So, uh, anytime you get an equation with x and y in it, you'll get a relation. Okay? Now, a function is a special kind of relation. A function is a relation where... When I said there are ordered pairs... Right? Ordered pairs. This is this idea that you put in x values and you'll get out y values. Okay. So uh, my my board works a bit disordered today, but we'll just deal with it. Um, if you put in an x value, right? Something happens in here, right? Some rule <coughs> gets applied to your x values, and you get out a y value. Okay. But as you can see in my very first example that I gave you, right, um, x squared plus y squared equals 1. This is a very fundamental, simple object. But the critical thing to notice about it is that if you put in an x value, like say x equals 0, that's a pretty simple value, right? If I put in x equals 0 here, what does y equal to? The answer is, like I've got it here, right? x equals 0 is on the y-axis. And if I say x is 0, what's y? The answer is, it's two things. It's 1 and it's negative 1, okay? <laughs> so when you have a relation, you can put a value of x in, and you can get more than one value of y out. In this example, you've got two values of y out. Uh, in other examples, you could get three or four or infinitely many, okay? That's what's happening in a, in a relation, right? Depending on what you've got here, okay? I'll give you an example of an infinitely many in a second, but let me finish this sentence that I started. A function is a relation where, when you put in one x, you don't get some number of y's out, who knows how many, depending on what kind of thing it is. In a function, you're only going to put in one x, and you can only get out one y. Okay? So, let me just state that here. I would, I would recommend you have this diagram because it's so helpful for you to understand what's going on. This thing up here, this is a relation. You put in an x, you'll get out a y or some y's, maybe one or two or three or many, however many. In a function, you only ever get out one. Now, we're very familiar with functions. We've actually been, like most of the things that we work with um, are actually functions. So what have we just been looking at? Like what topic did we just finish? Linear functions, okay. So they're called linear, linear functions. Because if you put in one value of x into this, you'll only ever get out one y, right? It's like, okay, how about x equals one, okay? How many points on this graph, how many points on this line match up to this x equals one? And the answer is there's only one, there's only ever one, okay? That's a linear function. What other kinds of graphs have we been thinking about in recent times? Okay, parabolas, fantastic. Parabolas. <coughs> So, so here's a parabola. This is this is a parabola. Okay, we'll get to that in a second. Here's a parabola, right? Again, if I pick some value of x, in fact, if I pick any value of x, 
like say, I don't know, minus three, okay? How many y values correspond to that? And the answer is only one, okay? So linear functions, um, parabolic functions, they're also going to be, you know, just one value in, one value out.